the island. In the moonlit heart of Tenerife, where the waves whispered secrets and the palm trees held ancient memories, whispers in the shadows, the island begins. The Miller family, Mark, Lisa, and their two children, arrived at the picturesque tourist hotel with hearts full of anticipation. The hotel, perched on a cliff overlooking the endless expanse of the Atlantic Ocean, promised tranquility and relaxation. Their smiles were genuine as they gazed at the shimmering water and breathed in the warm island air. Mark, a software engineer, had been working tirelessly, and this vacation was long overdue. Lisa, a schoolteacher, yearned for quality family time away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Their children, Sarah and Jake, were equally excited, their young eyes reflecting the innocence of youth. Little did they know that their dream vacation would soon unravel into a nightmare. Unseen forces awaited them, lurking in the shadows, eager to reveal the darkness hidden within the walls of this seemingly serene hotel. As the Miller family settled into their room, the initial excitement began to wane. Unusual occurrences cast a shadow over their holiday. Whispering voices echoed in the dimly lit hallway outside their room. Yet when Mark opened the door to investigate, there was no one to be found. Shadows flitted in their peripheral vision, but every time they turned to confront them, they dissolved into darkness. Sarah and Jake, usually full of laughter and curiosity, began to complain of unsettling dreams. They spoke of a figure that visited them in the night, whispering incomprehensible words. Mark and Lisa couldn't shake the feeling of being watched, as if an invisible presence lurked just beyond their vision. Their once relaxed expressions were replaced by furrowed brows and restless nights. The hotel's brochure had promised peace and serenity, but the reality was anything but. The Miller family had unknowingly stepped into a nightmare, and the shadows that danced around them were far from benign. As unease settled upon the Miller family, Mark decided to dig deeper into the history of the hotel, determined to uncover its dark secrets. Late one evening, while the rest of the family slept, he ventured into the dimly lit hotel library. The library held ancient tomes with weathered pages, filled with unsettling illustrations of bizarre rituals and grotesque creatures. Mark's heart raced as he deciphered passages that hinted at the hotel's ominous past. He stumbled upon an old diary believed to be written by a monk who had once lived within these walls. The diary's entries grew increasingly frantic, describing strange occurrences, possessions, and the gradual descent of the monastery into madness. Mark's fingers trembled as he read the monk's final entry, which spoke of a forbidden chamber hidden beneath the hotel. It was said to contain ancient relics of unspeakable power, sealed away to protect the world from their malevolence. The more Mark delved into the diary's entries, the more he realized that the tourist hotel was not just a place with a dark history. It was a place where the barriers between the living and the dead had worn thin, a place where ancient evil awaited its chance to break free. One fateful night, the Miller family's worst fears materialized in a series of horrifying events. The clock ticked ominously, and the air grew heavy with dread. Unexplained noises reverberated through the room, eerie whispers, distant cries, and footsteps that seemed to have no source. The doors slammed shut on their own, trapping the family in their room. Panic and confusion ensued as they desperately tried to open the doors. The room plunged into darkness, the only illumination coming from the eerie moonlight streaming in through the window. Apparitions of figures in hooded robes began to materialize, their faces hidden in shadow. Sarah and Jakey clung to their parents, trembling with terror. Mark and Lisa could do nothing but watch in horror as the phantoms circled them, their voices chanting in an incomprehensible language. The night was a relentless nightmare, a descent into madness. When dawn finally broke, the family emerged from their room pale and disheveled, forever changed by the horrors they had witnessed. It. As the first rays of dawn painted the horizon, the Miller family emerged from their room, their faces etched with exhaustion and terror. The night had been a relentless ordeal that had left them shaken to their core. 
the family couldn't ignore the ominous signs any longer. They decided to embark on a final, desperate exploration of the hotel. Armed with candles and trembling resolve, they ventured deeper into the hotel's labyrinthine corridors. Their search led them to a hidden chamber, concealed beneath layers of ancient stone. Inside, they found a room filled with disturbing artifacts, sinister symbols etched into the walls, and ancient texts bound in decaying leather. Mark, driven by a grim curiosity, began to decipher the writings. They told of a dark ritual that had taken place in this very chamber, a ritual designed to summon unspeakable horrors into the world. The relics within were imbued with malevolent energy, waiting for the right moment to unleash their darkness. As the family read, a chilling realization washed over them. They were not the first to encounter this malevolence, nor would they be the last. The hotel had been built upon a cursed foundation, and its very existence was a conduit for the supernatural. In a horrifying climax, the room seemed to come alive with a sinister presence. Whispers filled the air, and the symbols on the walls began to glow with an otherworldly light. The Miller family realized they were trapped, the doorway to the supernatural now wide open. The story ends here with the family's fate uncertain and the malevolent forces of Tenerife's haunted tourist hotel poised to continue their reign of time, waiting for the next unsuspecting guests to arrive. Thank you for joining us on this bone-chilling journey through the heart of Tenerife's haunted tourist hotel. If you found this tale of terror spine-tingling and unforgettable, don't forget to show your support. Give us a thumbs up if you dare. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more spine-tingling stories, mysteries, and chilling adventures. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when we release our next hair-raising tale. Your support keeps the darkness alive, and it helps us bring you more haunting content. So, like, subscribe, and share this video with fellow thrill-seekers who crave the supernatural. Until next time, stay wary of the shadows, and may your dreams be free from the whispers in the shadows.